Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Danny, not a crocodile because clearly I'm a human, not a crocodile. And in this video, we are just going to be generally wrapping up all the books that I've read this past school semester slash kind of just starting from January to when school ended. And that is about 14 books, which I've written here just for easy access. So mainly I'm just going to like tell you some of the books I've read and maybe like a tiny bit about it, but we're not going to go super into depth about a majority of them. Maybe like a couple of favorites I might talk about a little bit more, but that'd be it. So the first one is um, A Brief History of Japan with some more words in the title because it was a really long title, but essentially it's A Brief History of Japan uh, by Jonathan Clements. I give it three stars mainly because of the writing, like it gave me some history or whatever and seemed okay but it did seem a little bit too much like a white person writing about Japan and it was kind of sexist at some points. So for the writing it knocked it down a bit. Also, honestly it was boring. You can make history fun and he did not make history fun. Next was Chaos Rising, the first part of the Thrawn Ascendancy series by Timothy Zahn and I gave that one four stars. Do I remember why at this point? No. No, I do not. I just know that's that's what I said in Goodreads and Storygraph. I said it four stars. And I'm still only like 30% into uh, the second book, Greater Good, for like the second time now. Because I didn't finish it before it was due back at the library, so I had to return it. And then I tried reading it again, didn't get much farther because I got distracted by school and stuff, and had to return it again. But I'm going to try and read it this summer. And then next is just like an art book uh, all about the Hayao Miyazaki exhibit at the Academy Museum and it has like literally all the art that's displayed in that exhibit. So instant five stars because it's just a bunch of art and I loved it. It was good. But that was arranged or whatever by Jessica Niebel. And then there was also in it there was a couple of different like just stuff written by people. So like Pete Doctor wrote something for it and a couple of other people. And it's just kind of general, their thoughts about him or thoughts about the exhibit, etc. And then next I read the, the next adult book in the High Republic series, uh, Fallen Star by Claudia Gray, and that got a four stars from me. Overall, very much enjoyed the book, though I still do not quite understand the hype for Claudia Gray. Like, even Lost Stars wasn't, like, that amazing as people make it out to be, for me at least. So same thing with The Fallen Star, though this was the first book in a while to actually make me cry. I did cry over some of the stuff that happened in this book. And, like, one of my favorite characters is technically not okay, do not know what happened to him, and we're not going to know what happened to them for a while because in true Star Wars fashion, for Phase 2, we are going back in time. So we're doing High Republic prequel series, I guess. So I don't know when we'll get back to our characters from phase one. So as I was saying, next I read Iron Rida Widow by Jiran J. Zhao. I think I said that right. I tried to find something to tell me how to say their name. Oh, squirrels. I give this one three stars. Um, generally had a good time reading it. I read it super fast and like enjoyed certain things, but almost nothing had to like was developed and the plot was kind of useless almost like most of the more important things were over super fast and then like after that I was like why should anyone care or in general it was like why should anyone care because like I don't know this isn't really a spoiler because it's like in the thingamajig like her sister was killed by someone like right in the beginning but there's not one point where we're told why we should really care about her older sister like in general she's like oh I liked her or I think even sometimes she's like I wasn't I didn't care for her that much. Overall, I enjoyed reading it, but it needed a lot more to be actually good. Also, the plot twist at the end, I saw it coming a mile away. It was very um, easily for guessed, like super typical dystopian type plot where I'm like, I, I already know the end. I know what they're going to find out at the end, and I was completely correct. And then next, I read A Year in Tokyo by Christy Ann Jones. Who Apparently another YouTuber, I did not, or booktuber I guess, but I did not know about that, but um, I think it was actually Stories for Coffee posted about their little like illustrated memoir type book about their year living in Tokyo. And as someone who's planning to study abroad in Tokyo, I thought it'd be really good for me to read. And it was really good for me to read. I gave it four stars and it's actually inspired me to maybe do something like that about my study abroad, but of course make it like my tips and tricks more specific to study abroad students maybe. That's still a big maybe, but we'll see what I can do. And it 
especially since my study abroad is still like a little bit away out there before I can do that. And then next I read Heaven Official's Blessing. I always say it the wrong way. I'm like Heaven's Official Blessings or something like that. I add too many S's somewhere. And that is by, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, I couldn't find anything with like an example. It's by Mo Jong Tong Ju. Um, give it four stars only because, and this is technically a spoiler, so tune away for like, I don't know, 30 seconds? Maybe less than that? If you don't want to hear it, um... They don't kiss. I read that entire whatever, like that first part or the first volume, and the most they do is hold hands. <sighs> Literally, I remember when I was reading it, I got to the end and was like, I like flicked back and like looked, I was like, is that it? That's it? That's it? Like my reaction re reminded me of that one, that one vine, you know, the Sono head, but instead it's Sono kiss and then bang! And then we have quite a lot of manga from here on out for now. Um, I read the Stories of Water and Flame by Ryoji Hirano, the Demon Slayer, I don't know if it's a fan novel or something or however they call it, I don't know. Give that four stars. Enjoyable, love the different, slightly different art style, etc. Little fun stories about the flame hashira and water hashira. Enjoyed that. And then I read volumes 3 and 4 of Sweat and Soap by Kitetsu Yamada. Both four stars. I absolutely love Sweat and Soap and I can't wait to read more. There, I love is a really, really, really strange concept, but it's done really great, really well, and I love it. Um, and then I read volume 5 of What the Koi, Love is Hardest for Otaku by Fujita. Five stars. Volume 5 is when, um, what's their names get married? I don't remember the names, but they get married and then the younger brother of the one character is like having more moments with their person and it's super adorable, super cute, and I love it so much. It's great. It's perfect. Then I also read volume 1 of My Senpai is Annoying by Shiromanta. Um, I already love the anime. And this is also great too. And surprisingly, I think I already talked about it in a previous video when I showed it like the haul that I bought it in. A lot of color, because usually they might have a, like a couple of color pages in the volume, but and everything else is in black and white. But no, this has a lot of color. It was great. I love it. Um, then I also read Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero by Gege, Gege Akutami. Um, four stars. I'd already seen the movie, the prequel movie beforehand. So, thought I might as well read the volume also. Also grabbed it because like I said in the other one, I have literally not seen that until that moment because it was just gone for a while. Nobody could get a hold of it. Then I also read My Brain is Different, which is stories of ADHD and other developmental disorders by Manzuzu. By Manzuzu. Um, I gave that one a five star. I enjoyed reading those stories. And then last on my list is the long, long goodbye of the last bookstore, Mizuki no Mura. And I gave that one a four star. It was really good. I actually really, really enjoyed it. And I actually really, really recommend it for anyone who likes to read stories about books, bookstores, or libraries or anything like that. This is a great book for you. It'll probably make you cry. It made me cry. It made my mom cry. So yeah, it'll probably make you cry. Um, this is that one right here. So essentially, it's like this small town or small whatever bookstore that's been there for like multiple generations and the latest one uh, owner who's the like grandson of the original one or something like that, I can't remember exactly, um, died kind of randomly in actually in his bookstore. Um, but because of that, the bookstore has to close and it's been kind of like really important for various people in this town or even the workers there and so but at that moment when they're trying to close up and sell off all the stock and stuff someone random kind of shows up that the workers have never known and he's like um kid i think it's like he's like a high schooler yeah he's a high schooler he shows up and he says that the late owner entrusted him to make sure that everything was taken care of and of course all the workers are like excuse me but essentially throughout this through like books you learn the stories of different patrons and the workers there, etc. And also eventually you found out what happened to the owner. But it's really sweet. It's really reflective, etc. And I really recommend it. So go read this. And that's everything I read pretty much throughout my semester while I was at college. I hope you enjoyed. 
leave a comment if there's any books that I read that you read and what you thought of them or tell me about a recent book you have read. Um, like this if you like the video and subscribe if you would like to see more. I do have a few more planned for over the summer and maybe I can even actually film some during the semester this next fall. We will see. So thank you and see you next time.